Hello there guys, today I'm going to show you how to so-called print screen with a T-Inspire CAS CX or just a T-Inspire calculator. So of course, you're going to need a calculator and a printer. You're also going to need a computer, a couple of cables, and the most important, the T-Inspire computer link software. So, let's start with the download of the T-Inspire computer link software. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install the TI Inspire computer link software. So what you want to do is go to your web browser and then go to this link. Don't worry, this link will be in the description below. Now the T Inspire computer link software will start to download. Okay, so now the file is downloaded, go ahead and click on it. Uh, you want to say yes here and then the setup wizard comes go ahead click next next install and now again just wait now just go ahead and tick this little box here and click finish right now um, as you can see the software has opened up uh, so we just finished installing the software. Right, so now we finished the download. Now we need to connect your calculator to your computer and try and actually take a screenshot of your calculator and save that to your computer. Okay, so now that the TN Inspire computer link software is opened, go ahead and connect your TN Inspire calculator. Okay, so you're going to need to get your TI Inspire cast calculator and you're going to need this end of the USB cable that they gave you and just go ahead and plug that into your calculator okay and now you can move your calculator to the side so now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and get this part of the USB cable and plug it into your computer uh, once you've connected it click refresh and as you can see the TI, TI Inspire calculator has come up now, as it's highlighted, go ahead and click select. And now you can access all the files on your calculator. Now, what you want to do is you want to take a screen capture, so a screenshot of your device. So, what you need to do is go to your calculator. Okay, so now you have your calculator plugged into your computer. Go ahead and press the on button so you go to your home screen and then go to whatever screen you would like to take a picture of. So I'm going to go into my documents, go to my Hooke's Law experiment and then move across to my graph which I have open now. And now let's move on to the computer and I'll show you how to take a screenshot. Right, so now that we're back on the computer, just go ahead on the software and click on this little camera icon. And there you go, you have a picture of the screen of your calculator. Now, uh, click on the save icon here. And then just save it to your desktop. That's the easiest way to find it. Desktop. And call it whatever you want. And then click save. And then you can close this. Okay, now that we have the screenshot on the computer, we need to be able to get this image that we have and print it off. As you can see now, I can open this up and there's the picture. From here you can straight away print. You can also put these images into a Word document to print off more than one at a time. Also, you can also upload this to a cloud storage and then share it with the person. Open a Word editing pro program such as Word. And then go insert, pictures, then go to your desktop, then get your image, insert it, and then you can put more than one picture of your calculator on one page. This is a better way to preserve printing ink and paper. And of course, if you want to, you can go and 
Also save your file on an online storage place. This is easy, then you can just share it to your teacher. So what you can do is go new, file upload, go to your desktop, look for the file you have and then click open. And there you go, hey presto, it's uploaded. And here you can go share and then you can click share to share it with whoever you want to. If it's homework, it's an easy way to share your homework with your teacher. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I will try my best to help you with any of your queries or questions and try and answer them for you. Thanks for listening. If I die, baby,